Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft coming to you from the Kerpowcraft Kingdom server. My name is Tolbert and I'm your host and thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this episode. Well, we left off last time with doing some things around the base here. We've gone and thrown in a whole lot of these vines and now everything is completely and utterly overgrown. Last time we also came in here and we set up this hall of faces. At least I believe that was in the last episode. And well, this episode we only have one more empty spot here in the main base to go ahead and build one more last. We're going to go with like a basic house here. We've got our witch tower going on here. We have our super smelter blacksmith over there. We have our house here for the mayor of Philantis. And, well, we got a little bar, a library, a whole bunch of stuff all around here. And one thing I want to show off real quick is that, yep, we got the vines growing in all the tunnels now, slowing down my ability to run down the tunnels. Nah, it's an okay trade-off. And if we go ahead and come up here to the guard tower, you'll be able to see that all the guard towers have the vines growing down as well as the sky path up here this place is officially overgrown with vines they're everywhere they are just everywhere and i like the way it looks i really do enjoy it so let's go ahead and come on back down here Let's go ahead and get this last build started. Just a basic home, and then we're going to have to update the map here because you can see on the inside of the dome there, these spots are still looking empty. We're going to have to fix that. So we got to update the map, make everything else look as good as we can. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started on the build.
And so with that, our final home here is just about done. We've only got a couple things. First things first, we definitely got to put down the full Lantis flower out front here. You know what? I think the people that live here went ahead with a little extra mile and went put the full Lantis flower on that little stand there and over here. As I accidentally miss and put it behind. Let's grab that. All right. So what things does this place need? Well, this home is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to accommodate three people instead of just normal one so far in every other place we've done here everything only has one bed if it is a home so we're going to make this one into three three beds for this one we're going to run over here and let's grab one let's go with some regular white wool and then two more of the cyan Actually, we'll make that one into a double bed. So let me get three more white wool. So we'll do two twin size beds and one full or queen size bed, whichever way you want to say it. So we'll grab those and we just got to head over here. And grab a little bit of wood. Doesn't matter what kind of wood, any kind of wood will do. Like the dark oak there. We'll go with that. So need, okay, there we go. Two white, two cyan. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and put these in on the house. But as before I go, I'll grab a couple of these to use as tables. Oh, wait. And we, of course, we need a furnace. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, we need a crafting bench for the house itself. So there's the crafting bench. There's the furnace for them to keep the place warm and cook up some good food. We'll go ahead and take a shortcut through here. And let's say that in the back corner here is where that double bed is going to go. And then along the side, starting there. We can put those in. All right, so we have these little things. So furnace right there, crafting table right on the other side, perfect. Let's get our end tables here on either side of these beds. And of course, you know they have to have it. The Folantis flower. And that should pretty much do for this one. I believe we are going to be all set there. So we have it. We got the vines growing. We got the lights there. We got basic doorway and everything. Basic little house. Just something to have some people in and have them enjoy it and that should do it there and actually we have one more thing to do before we can call it an episode let's go check on the shop the cat came back the very next day the cat came back Thought he was a goner, but the cat came back the very next day. Well, 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 here we are at Spawn, the place of the shopping district, where you can buy and sell just about anything and make a little bit of coin and money while you do. Well, there's one shop that's not here yet. One that we're going to be building right now. It's the little ore exchange. And I feel like I need to start making some coin here. So first things first, we have to find ourselves a place to build this at. And we're going to be using roughly about an 18 by 18 block area. And so let's go ahead and take a small look around here. We have the Redstone Public House, the Folantis Shop. Then over this way, we have a common use shop. We have the pet shop here. We have Alice's ice cream stand, Caesar's Magic Rune Shop. 
And so I guess maybe back here would be great. But what is this over here? Just an empty chest out of nowhere. Okay. So I guess we're going to try and build up this little bit of land here. So we're going to raise this up a little bit and take this down. Like I said, we need an 18 by 18 area. So let's try to explain what's going on here. So first things first, let's pull out our examples of ores. Right now, this is one problem with the texture pack I'm using at the moment is that you can't see what the vanilla ores are right now. So we're going to have to change that. So let's go ahead and take off the texture pack. All right, so there we go. There are the basic textures, but it's nighttime. So let's go ahead and rest up first, get rid of this night. And then we can get back to explaining this. So we take a look here. We can see that there are roughly about three different gray colors within these blocks, which is why we have stone, andesite, and clay to go ahead and work with those three different colors. And then as we can see for diamonds, we have four different colors. So that's why we have for diamond blocks, four different colors. For the gold, we have four different colors as well, which is why we have that. So forth and so on. So we have a mixture of colors to go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and start with building this area up and getting it ready to be used. And so there we go. We went ahead and flattened out the area, raised up the land a little bit, and put in the what's going to be the containing pillars here. And now it's time to go ahead and start putting in our ores. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put like this one here for reference so I can see what I'm doing as I go along. And we'll be moving it up and down as needed. So we're gonna to have to try and create this pattern here. And let's go ahead and just, just mark off which ones are going to be what. So we have gold, we have diamond, we have lapis, we have redstone, and we'll put the emerald on top. What, what is that? Oh, uh, skeleton there. All right, nice. I kind of like that. So emerald will go all the way up top. I'll get to that one last. So what do you say we go ahead and start getting these filled in?
Well, that took a lot longer than what I thought it would. So, let's do this. By the magic of video editing, all of the colors are now filled in. That's right, we have our gold block here. Over on the side, we have our lapis lazuli block. Then we have our redstone. And finally, our diamond on the side. That completes the sides. And up on top, we have our emerald. So that is all done. Now we need some chests, so we need to fill this place up. So let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of chests. Except I need that wood back, don't I? Alright, let's go ahead. Do that, do that, and let's go ahead and use the book, why not? And make as many chests as we can. 56 chests. A lot more than what I thought it would be. And we're just going to go ahead and line this place with chests that we're going to fill up with ores. Where are we going to get those ores? Well, let's go ahead and head on over to the Full Lantis Guardian Farm. So here we are at the Full Lantis Guardian Farm. Now, something that you can get from Guardians and other mobs with the Dungeon Tactics mod here is you can get all these little bags. And so we'll grab out one of each here, and we'll go ahead and show this off real quick. Is that in the food bag? You can get food. In the potion bag, as it says, you can get potions or potion stopping effects like the milk. Tool bag, you get enchanted tools and then as we continue we have the record bag where of course you get records book bag where you can get scrolls or enchanted books and finally the one that we're really interested in the ore bag where we can get ores of course so let's grab out a bunch of ore bags as you can see we have eight nearly nine thousand here and so I just grabbed out four stacks. So let's go through all four stacks real quick. And after we're done with that, you can see we have quartz, we have gold, we have lapis, emeralds, redstone, iron, coal. This is what we're going to be using to fill up our new shop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a whole bunch of these bags and take those goods back with me. And so all the chests are now filled and separated into stacks of eight. So first things first, coal is being the most abundant material you can find. So we'll say coal or blocks. One copper per eight perfect now we have diamond diamond being the most sought after the most expensive so we have diamond ore blocks one now nah, we'll go to gold per eight i believe that runs the two chests and then we have lapis so lapis ore blocks. Let's go five silver per eight. Emerald. So emerald ore block. Ah, it won't fit. Blocks. We'll sell those ones for one gold per eight. And then we have, oh, that's right, quartz. So quartz or blocks. 
Let's go ahead and sell those for... I think we'll put them the same as the Lapis. Five silver per eight. Then iron. Iron being the second most abundant. So iron ore blocks. Except the O didn't capitalize there. There we go. Iron ore blocks will go one silver per eight. Well, no, nah, that doesn't make sense. Let's try that again. Iron ore blocks. Five copper per eight. That makes more sense. And then we have gold. So gold or well actually let's start this with nether gold blocks being a little bit more than regular gold so we'll do two silver per eight and then regular gold regular gold or blocks we'll go one silver per eight we get to round this off with redstone. So redstone or blocks. Uh, that will be the same as lapis. Five silver per eight. And that is everything. So we have coal, we have diamond. We have lapis, we have emerald, we have quartz, we have iron, we have nether gold, we have gold, and then we have redstone. Now it's time for us to sit back and make a little bit of money. All right, so here we are back at spawn. Let's go ahead and see what we have in our little full lantis shop, if anything is here yet. It's been probably been a while, so there's probably something waiting for me. Two shulker boxes gone. Nothing else there. Nobody's probably bought the fish. Nothing there. Nothing there either. And I don't think anything's missing there. So, yep, we have six gold coins, which is just for those two, those two sugar boxes. So I'll go ahead and put those back in there, and that's going to be it for this episode. So let me say thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good day. And we'll hope to see you again sometime soon, may, sometime soon maybe on stream, maybe in the next episode. Till then, take care, be well, and we'll see you again shortly.